for those of you who don't know Irene, she's just been a tremendous leader in helping Black and Hispanic entrepreneurs really grow their business online. And it's needed now more than ever in this, you know, digital economy that we live in. So I, I'm a big believer in story. And I know Irene, you're a huge believer in story and you're a great storyteller. So will you tell the audience just a little bit about yourself and how you got into this business? I'd be happy to, and thank you. I, uh, stories, I think, are the essence of how we move forward in life. And one of the stories behind what I do is based on a superhero. And you've heard this story before, Henry. Um, one of my favorite superheroes by the name of Ivory Man. Now, many of those who are, of you who are listening may not have heard of Ivory Man, but Ivory Man was a small business owner, just as um, many that we are serving in, in our communities today. Um, and every superhero has a name that they go by during the day. Um, obviously, Superman was Clark. Diana was Wonder Woman. And Ivory Man's name was Bill. And Bill was a physician in the Los Angeles area. And he started and made an invention to help women um, as they would undergo surgery. And as a small business owner, he created an instrument that was made out of silicone um, and it was white. And so hence his superhero name of Ivory Man. And as he was trying to build his business, he was able to obtain a patent from China and was in the process of obtaining a patent here in the United States. And if any of you have ever tried to get a patent, you can realize it's a, it's a very difficult process and it takes some time. Bill, or Ivory Man, was also um, a black man trying to navigate um, finances um, and figure out a way to grow his business and decided to take on a partner. Well, this partner um, who did not have to experience the same things that Bill did as a minority, uh, was able to actually take um, Ivory Man's invention, actually stole it and actually got it patented himself. Um, and Ivory Man, obviously this affected not only the community and women he was helping, but also his family. And so you see the impacts of what happens to a superhero when they are um, limited in their access to building things. Now, it just so happens that Ivory Man or Bill was also my father. And that's the reason behind the motivation behind where I saw that black and brown business owners um, really needed some additional assistance in trying to grow their business um, and, to, and to expand them. And so that's the story behind how I got into some of this work. Um, I was a, an economics major, Henry, and so just always keeping econ in the back of my mind, I always knew I wanted to find a way to help because that was an essence of, of how my father came into um, creating and inventing this instrument was to make sure that he could give back to the community. It was always something very important for him. So that's the story a little bit behind how I started um, into, into some of this work that, that we're talking about today. Mm -hmm.